Hi yeah. everyone, welcome to um, a very quick tutorial from Creative Tap. Um, in this tutorial I'm going to go through the project directory in Nuke and why we use it and how it can be used and how it can be very, very helpful. So I've got a very simple script here, it's just a sign replacement, so I've got two read nodes, I've got my original footage and I've got these palm trees. Okay, now with our read node, before we go into the project directory bit, with our read node, when we open up the file, the computer or Nuke knows that it needs to look at a certain location for this piece of footage, okay? It knows that it needs to go to users, J-A-P-A-R, which is a bit of my name, um, desktop, personal projects, VFX projects, sign replacement, and then footage, and then sign shot, TIFF sequence, okay? So it knows to load this in when I open the file, it's got to look there. The same with the palm trees, it's got to go users, blah, 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 desktop, personal projects, VFX projects, and all the way in there, okay? Now, what happens if you were to copy your sign replacement folder, put it on a hard drive, and give it to another artist um, to kind of work on or to kind of look through? Well, what would happen is, because they're opening it up on another computer, the read nodes would be looking for your desktop not their desktop and so that it wouldn't be these files wouldn't get read in even if you copied the files across so there's a way of setting it up so that you can come around this and that's the project directory so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this little folder okay now if I go into VFX projects and sign replacement because this is where the project is I've got a little folder set up of final renders footage images Maya files nuke files Photoshop files and that's what you should have. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell Nuke that all the assets for this project are in this project directory, which is my desktop, personal projects, VFX projects, and sign replacement folder. So if I click open, you'll see that now that path gets copied to here. Okay. If I go to my read node for my footage, you'll see that the first if we come to the beginning, the first line of this location, the first bit of this location is the same as my directory because we've set to the same folder. But what that means is, in my read node, we can actually delete that first bit and hit enter, okay? And the footage is still getting read in because now that we've set up this directory, what Nuke is doing is it says, right, everything is within this folder. So to find this piece of footage, I need to go in here and then I come across to the footage folder and find it. So again, with this one, with this little read note, if I just delete this first part, because this highlighted part is set up in the project directory, so Nuke already knows I'm looking in here. But now it knows, right, within this project directory, I'm going to go to images and then palmtrees.png. And just to illustrate that, palm trees are coming in. If I deleted, say, the I of images and then hit enter, well, there's no folder within this directory called M-A-G-E-S. But if I put the I back in, it knows exactly where it's looking for it. Okay, and the reason this is helpful is because if you copy this folder of foot, copy that sign replacement folder to a hard drive, all your um, kind of colleague or friend, whoever you're passing a file on to, would need to do is reset this project directory. And I'm going to illustrate that with a little demonstration, okay? So if I go into like VFX projects, sign replacement. Let's first of all save this. So if I go into where sign replacement is, I'm going to copy this file or move this file to my desktop, okay? And what you'll notice is I'll just close this down and I'm going to reopen the file. So I'll just pause the video while I reopen Nuke. Um, so we've now copied our sign replacement folder from um, the VFX projects folder onto the desktop. Now remember when we set up our project settings, that's that directory, we said desktop, personal projects, VFX project, and sign replacement. But now that folder's on the desktop. So if we were to reopen, let's go to open comp and let's go to desktop. So desktop and sign replacement, nuke files, and let's open that file back up. Okay, well what's happened is it can't actually find these pieces of footage and I'll tell you why. If we double click this read node, it's looking in the folder for footage and then sign shot. But, it's, but this, it, if we go to the project settings, it's thinking, right, okay, so desktop, personal projects, VFX projects, sign replacement. Well, no, because it's going to be desktop and then sign replacement. I've moved it 
from this location. So when you pass this on to someone else, all they need to do is reset this project directory. So I'm just going to click the folder again, and I'm going to go, I know it's on my desktop and sign replacement folder. I'll click open. And now everything's relinked because you've said this is the project directory and my read node within there, this is the folder. And yeah, now they've got access to everything. So all you need to do when passing files on to someone else, if it's on a different hard drive or something or different area, if you move your stuff around, all you need to do is relink your project directory and it'll find everything. OK, so I hope that kind of uh, made sense to you. Hope you learned something there. Um, leave a comment, like a uh, comment on what you want to see next. If it helped, like and subscribe for more stuff. And yeah, cheers for tuning in.